So, Dika, welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am out of the kitchen and in Thailand today, and I wanted to take you to a place where you can enjoy lots of street food in the relaxing atmosphere right by the the river. I am at the Wat Tha Ling Chan floating market. Now, this is not like one of those big tourist trap floating markets you may have seen on TV or or been to. This is actually a smaller one that is located in the peaceful premises of a temple where it serves mostly locals and it's brand new, so there's not a whole lot of people here yet. So let's go and take a look at what they've got to offer. I have an episode on Hot Thai Kitchen on how to make pork satay with peanut sauce. So here's one professional making it live right here with the with a charcoal grill. Pork satay is usually served with grilled toast, and the toast is right there, grilled right here on the same grill. A while back, I had a Facebook post on a dessert made of egg yolks and sugar called Phai Thong. Now here's here it is, the stuff that they sell, and the other desserts that that belongs in the same family. They're all made of egg yolks. This actually is a dessert that comes from Portugal, and we've kind of inherited it and made it our own. Now here is a dessert that's generally a lot bigger than this, but this is a, a mini size. It's sticky rice, sweet sticky rice. That has banana inside, and they they wrap the whole thing in banana leaves and cook it. So there, there's this tiny little thing here, so cute. Normally they're about this big, but this one are quite fun size. Along the river, there's tons of fish, and what we Thai people feed fish is white bread. <laughs> what else better to feed fish than white bread? And you just take them and you just throw them into the river, and you see hundreds of fish come and eat the stuff like. Like it's you know they've been starved for seven years. So this is something called hamok, and it's a. Uh, It's a red curry custard, so it's red curry, coconut curry, and it's got eggs in it. And when they steam it, it solidifies, and there's usually fish in it. They wrap it in the uh, banana leaf and steam it, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. <laughs> As per usual, there's always a little bit of souvenir, little trinkets and hair decorations and whatnot that you can you can buy for people back home. Having a little bit of ice cream, and this is. Coconut, toilet, coconut ice cream, but it's actually coconut water sorbet rather than ice cream. And they also have passion fruit kind of sorbet type ice cream, and it's very refreshing. And of course, we put roasted ground peanuts on top of it. Okay. And if for some reason you're from the states and you miss American food, there's steak and French fries and American fried rice here to serve you. If you're feeling like something cute, there is Hello Kitty chocolate, just in case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of Thai iced tea with a handle. So this is a little, a big little cow. It's a full-grown cow that looks like a baby cow, and apparently he likes bananas. His name is Jojo. เจ้าเอาไม่ลูกอ่ะเอากล้วยเอาแต่กล้วยนะมือไม่เอาเออ so cute this is grilled squished bananas it's literally that's what it's called and they basically take the ones it's not too ripe and they they squash it down and then they grill it over charcoal they serve it in this little banana leaf boat here and has a palm sugar coconut syrup that they put on top of it ขอบคุณค่ะเอ้ยลืมจ่ายตังค์ขอบคุณค่ะค่ะ over there that big ginormous coil is northern style sausage called ไส้อัว there's red curry paste in it and there's lots of herbs so you know it's good and it's quite refreshing actually all that herbs my dog just passed away and so I am getting this little Floral wreath here, and to put her, to put on her little grave in my backyard. So, here's to Cindy. We ran into a n- another film crew. So, as I said, this place is a very new place. So I think there's a lot of 
publicity being a lot of publicity effort in order to to boost the traffic around here. There's not a whole lot of people here, as you can see. It's really nice, actually. I like it like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I used to, to have this when I was in elementary school. Um, it's basically popsicles. When I was little, a long time ago, it was one baht each, and now it is tang la thai sam tang si neng tang thai la neng tang si baht. Now it's four baht. It's a 400% increase in price. So they're basically made of pop or, or soda, Coke, Fanta, Sprite, all, all sorts of things. And the system needs no electricity to run. This is called kanomba bin. It's, it, it means crazy dessert. It's basically sticky rice flour. And this one uses young coconut. Some other vendors use older coconuts. And it's basically a pancake. 